Yes, you're being watched. <laughs> Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Caught you off guard? You kind of caught me out because I was kind of into this. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. That's what I was going to say. Yesterday's video. What was the name of that? We got a question for you, is it? Oh, it? yeah. We have a question for you all. We have come to a decision. Hey, just look at this. Anyway, the decision is, it's pretty neat, isn't it? <laughs> what is that you got there? Huh? It's a ratchet lock. What makes me Yeah. Oh, that is cool. That's neat. Oh, lock. Wow. That's neat. Yes, yes, it's neat. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we come to a decision between the John Deere or the Kubota. Oh, just look at this one. And you can't stay on something oh. at all. Isn't that neat, Lon? Yes, that's neat. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I took a, we, we read everybody's, uh, we read everybody's comments. And I'm going to tell you, there was everybody made valid points. And uh, like I say, we sat down and we pondered it. And we did come to a decision. Oh, look at the little, look at the little square. Well, and... Isn't that a nice little square? It's a baby one. He's a baby one, huh? And it comes with his own toothpick, look. No way. Yes, look. But look at the size of teeth. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was for a big bear. I guess we're going to have to tell him what we decided that. Eh? I guess we are. Because <laughs> you're there dying on the other side there laughing. If you, Folks, she's no angel. <laughs> anyway, here's how it all transpired. The reason why we asked you for the question, asked you that question, was not because we were going to cross over to the dark side, or, or we, you know, we didn't want Kubota anymore, or we, or we wanted a John Deere. It was because we know that there's a big following of John Deere enthusiasts That's right. around. We, we know that, you know, and and uh, personally, I like green too. Right. So. A lot of nice colors. Exactly. You know, and I mean, they do make a nice looking tractor. And, and that being said, but I mean, face it, this is orange country. Yeah. You know, and we're not in California, so we got to be talking about Kelowna. That's what we're not in California. Yeah. So, so what I, what I did yesterday is I said to Kathy, I said, Kathy, can you call around, call to the John Deere dealer and price up a tractor? And then I want you to call Kubota, price up a tractor, and then we'll see what transpires. Anyway, the first place you called was where? Kubota. Kubota. And of course... I went right to the horse's mouth. Yes, really. We, we have, we have yeah, a, a pretty good relationship now with our Kubota dealer. We do, dealer. we do. That's An excellent right. one, actually. Yeah. Boys were here last year, and, and we're talking back and forth, and we're into the dealership all the time. And we've been dealing with them since 2008. Exactly. We're friends. It's pretty informal. Yeah. You know, it's they're almost like family to us. Yeah. We know the salesman. We know the service manager. Oh, right down. We know the, the general manager. Everywhere. We know the owner. You know. So anyway, so Kathy says to the general manager, this is what we need. You know, get us a price on it. And he said, well, what is it you, why are you getting this tractor? And you said, we're, we, we need this tractor to do more mods. That's right. He said, oh, hang on a second now, hang on. And viewers are asking for particular exactly. models for mods. He said, you can't go buy the tractor every time you want to, to modify it. No. Nope. So here's what the dealership offers. He said, whatever you want in a Kubota piece of equipment, if we got it, you got it. We'll bring it out to you, deliver it, keep it as long as you want, do what mods you need to do, let us know, we'll come pick it up, we'll bring you back another model that you want. Unbelievable. Free of charge. Free of charge. Yeah. No strings attached. And you know, and the reason why they said they're doing it is they said, well, since 2008, when you bought your first tractor, you've promoted us. 
and I guess he said we bu we built a brand. Yes, right. We are right. the brand. So he said, you know, you kind of represent Kubota, and we want to we want to pay you back. That's right. So what we have is we have a big business in the city who is actually supporting a small biz business outside the city. Can't get much better than that. Yeah. So I mean. Uh, it's, it's very moving to be honest with you it is and it's humbling and it's also greatly appreciated the reason why we were trying to find the other tractors was just to be able to offer more mods to more people exactly who has different tractors our, our tractors although are in perfect mint 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 condition they're considered old tractors now because there's newer models out so we want to, we want to, uh, I guess, try to deal with the new people who got the newer tractors. So we basically accepted the, the gracious offer, the generous offer. And uh, so <laughs> Darcy said, well, what's the first tractor that you would like to have delivered? And we said a B model. That's right. A B series, I want a B series with no cab, with a backhoe, open station with a backhoe. And he said, Darren, he said, that's the one we don't have. We got one coming though. We got <laughs> right. one coming. Yeah, they were sold out. Yeah, so he said, well, what about if I brought out a 23S to you Monday or Tuesday? Would that do you for a little while? Because there's lots of things that I want to do with the 23S as well that I, I haven't had it here, I had one here long enough to be able to, to do yeah. that, right? So I said, sure. So that's what we're going to do. We're, the first tractor to come here is the 23S. The next tractor will be a B series. Now, uh, 20, 2601. Yes. Now, folks, anybody that's got this B series, I'm going to tell you something. You're in for a real treat. Oh, yeah. Because I got a pile of ideas. I've got some of it already worked out without the tractor. That's right. So now all I got to do is get it from here to the table to the tractor. That's right. And then from the tractor, it goes to the website. Mm -hmm. So I know you people have been asking a long time for, uh, for B-series mods. And they're coming and they're going to be coming really fast. Once I get that tractor here, it's going to be coming real fast. The other thing that I, that I, I would like to do too is while, while we have each model here, because this is a very, very unique opportunity for us to have the latest and the greatest models, okay? And what I'd also like to do in the process, it, these are tractors that we're gonna be running. These are tractors that we're gonna be using just as models, wow. okay? But you know, like, hey, if I skit in the cab and I happen to have a camera with me, and I show you all the features in the cab and you know maybe if I show you how the uh, tobacco comes off the 23s wow, you know stuff neat. like that and, yeah. and if I show you, you know how the digital readout works on this and works on that and, and if I happen to uh, get up and under and show you how the undercarriage looks and you know, wow, that'd be if, helpful. Look well, how many well, people asked how to take out the backhoe alone. Yes, but you know, and, and the fact is too is while we're getting familiar with that product, so are our viewers. Exactly. Right? So, and I mean, hey folks, we don't know how, fa how far this can go. This could go to skid steers, this could go to anything, you know, whatever it is. I mean, you know, I'll modify a toothbrush if, you know, if we can. <laughs> yeah. But, boy, this is neat, isn't it? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're just messing with me. I know you love to do that. But anyway, so, so yeah. you know, to the John Deere guys, you know, folks, I, I, you know, I, I'd love to be able to have a John Deere here. I really, really would, and I'd love to be able to modify it. And that may happen. I might see a used one for sale and pick it up. But we were into the dealer a few weeks ago. There's nothing there. They're not an agricultural dealer. No, they're not. You know, and face it. Again, this is Orange Country. This is Kubota Country. Right. There's the the the, the uh, dealership that owns the Kubota dealership in St. John's, the capital, owns the dealership in Cornerbrook. They are Kubota, exactly. And they are a premium company. They have 
a, a fantastic service department, they have a fantastic parts department, all the salesmen have been there for eons, they know the product, so you know, they're, they're a, a good stable company, so it's, it's, it's nice to be affiliated with someone like that, right? So that being said, that's what we're going to do. So we appreciate all your input on the uh, computer. Oh, yeah. It's been some some really nice. Well, they've all been great comments. Oh, haven't. And been. Uh, they've been very moving, and we appreciate your kind words as well. And we hope to continue to not only educate but to entertain. Yes. See, it's yeah. got to be fun for us to and do that's this. That's right. Right. Viewers make it fun. Well, the viewers make it fun, and hopefully we can give them a laugh or two. As well. You know, as well, right? Boy, this is something wicked, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> is there something wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty well. Touche, eh? Yeah, touche. I'm going to have to bring it back, though, because I can't figure out how to get this off. Oh, Perfect. I noticed in one of the comments, too, the other day I got busted. Yeah. Remember you were at the break work and you were pointing? Well, that was yesterday. I was pointing at that yeah, insulator. Yeah, I didn't see you do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and you said... Dude, upper management. <laughs> <laughs> and you said I didn't point it out. That's and right. a viewer over in uh, the UK said, Hey, Kathy. Miss Kathy. Uh, Miss Kathy, you tried, right. to blame, you tried to blame it on Paul. Yeah, exactly. So I got busted. Yeah, and rightfully so. Yeah. Oh, indeed. Hey. Exactly. So folks, we're gonna be you're gonna start seeing some new equipment here. That'd be exciting. Yeah. And you're going to uh oh cool, look at it off or broke it now. Oh my god, you're like a child here. You can't even Well focus. you know like I'm just trying to well, I'm focused. <laughs> you know, okay do I look fuzzy in that? No. Well I'm focused. Okay. Okay. All right, you're focused. Yeah. And uh yeah, you're gonna see new equipment, you're gonna see uh, new ideas. And we, you're going to see new mods. Yeah, I know. And the bee guys, I'm going to tell you. They are jumping out of their seat now. With well, George. I don't know if they are. They are, because yeah. I've been getting... They're all probably jumping emails. up now, heading to Princess Auto by one of them. No, they're they not. don't care about what I got to say. No. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. You know, and if, if I can put in a scattered plug for Kubota and that, I got to. I mean, face it. How many tractor companies do you know would transport all their equipment when you need it to your door and drop let you use it, up. drop it off and pick it up when you want it and done. let you use it. And let you use it to, to do your mods. Very trusting. That's a company, very trusting, but it's also a company who, who really looks after and believes in what you're doing. Absolutely. And for that, I appreciate it. Exactly, we sure do. Because this well, is a big adjustment for us. We're, we're, we have gone from small engine repair to... Uh, automotive repair to oh my gosh to fabrication to welding to machining to re restoration to painting yeah you know holy smokes like i mean we we mm -hmm. even had a short spell at working for the airline in industry that's right i used to travel back and forth working for an airline company doing their ground equipment and whatnot Oh, so yeah. that's all been specialty repairs, mm -hmm. but this custom mods down here, this is what really got our goat going. We're we're enjoying this. That's right, we are. Because we're getting to meet a lot of you people personally, and of course, Kathy, how many do you talk to on phone? Oh, many. And how many do you deal with? You know, through, through the emails. The yeah. So and, and it's been all good experiences. Excellent. And we're enjoying it, and it's very humbling to have people want to buy our product. So we want to continue this, but we want to improve on it. We want, we don't want anybody left out. We want everybody to be able to pick up the phone or pick up their computer and order a mod for their tractor. That's right. That wouldn't have been possible though without Kubota's help. Can't be done. You can't have every piece of equipment. We have people call us with uh, John Deere saying, my bucket is 60 inches wide and I want a spill guard. When can you get it for me? Mm -hmm. It's not that simple. It's, no. It's, it's a, a process. Sometimes these spill guards take two, two and a half days, just trial and error, fitting yeah. them, taking them off, mm -hmm. cutting, making a little bit of adjustment. Then a then jig is made. Yeah, refit and then it. And once the jig forth. is made, well, then I have the jig. I just mark on it what it's for. 
and then when we go in a production run, we make them all up the lake. That's right. And that's how it's done. It's days just getting yes. to set up before yeah. you even start building. Exactly. So, you know, it, it's, it's not as easy as just taking the welder and taking the iron worker or the plasma cutter and, and going to it. It takes time to get them right. It does. So be patient, but the B series is coming soon. And we, it would have been here Monday or Tuesday. It's just that our dealer didn't have them in stock. So, but they will have it very shortly. So in the meantime, when the uh, 25 or when the 23S gets here, hey, maybe Kathy will come out with the camera and show it being offloaded and show it coming in the garage and we'll do a walk around and, and I'll ponder what little things we're gonna do. And, <laughs> you know, so hopefully it'll, it'll generate some interest. Oh, and, uh, for sure. You know, and if I happen to just move it in and out the shop and test it, and, you know, hey, got to move it. You know? mm -hmm. So, folks, just wanted to let you know we appreciate you watching our videos. We appreciate all your comments, and some of them were quite lengthy and, and, and enjoyable to read. Oh, very. Right? And, and every one of them were right on the money, and I can understand everybody's point of view. But we just wanted to come in. It's Friday evening. We wanted to come in and just tell you exactly what's on the go. We always try to keep our viewers in the loop. That's right. And we'll right now, next week. yep, you're completely up to date. I got to work tomorrow mm -hmm. because I kind of skipped off this afternoon. It was, it was a beautiful afternoon here. Uh, we Our storm at mounted to, <laughs> that was it. That's right. Amen to that. Yeah. We had a little bit of wind and, and, and a little bit of rain, but listen. Didn't even notice. There was nothing to it. No. So thank God for that. Fabulous. So Amen. tomorrow we're gonna, I'm gonna work out here, it's gonna rain. Today we took off and we went to the city. We had some business to do in the city. We got that done. And it's the weekend. Mm -hmm. So folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for participating in that because it told us, you know, amongst our viewers, how many John Deere were there mm -hmm. and how many Kubota people were there. And I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of, a lot of John Deere owners that watch us as well, right? Exactly. So if we could get them converted, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good mod. First John Deere mod, convert them <laughs> to buy a right. Kubota. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Folks, you guys take care. Have a great evening and look after yourselves. Be good to each other and God bless.